Hello there, welcome to TOL, New Covenant Grace Teaching Ministry. We uh, are speaking on the topic, Who is Jesus? We know that a scripture by choice and design um, constantly points us to Jesus. Um, Jesus said, you search the scriptures because in them you think you have eternal life, but the scriptures testify to me. And so the word testify, again, is in the present active indicative. Testify means that scripture is constantly going to point us to Jesus. And so that's the whole focal point of it. I found a great uh, um, illustration. Uh, it was an older Bible, older translation. Um, it's called the Living Bible Illustrated. It, it just paints a great picture, a symbolic picture, of just how big Jesus really is. Um, he's a lot bigger than most of us thought he was. And as what we're discovering is, you know, before Christ, um, as unbelievers, we saw Jesus in a manger. And he was just a baby, and he grew up, and he taught, you know, and he walked. And we, uh, we used to look at him as that, and that's as big as we saw Jesus. And then he became Savior, and he went to the cross. And then it's, uh, but uh, as we discover this mystery, and I believe the Holy Spirit um, reveals this mystery to us, and actually reveals this to the Apostle Paul uh, when he writes the church in Colossae. Um, and I believe that when the Apostle Paul saw just how big Jesus really was, and who he really was, that's where he is, his name changed from Saul to Paul. Because, of course, Paul means small. In John 3.30, John says, I must decrease so he may increase. A lot of us have maybe prayed that prayer. And what that really means is to see Jesus for who he really is. And, and, and as the Holy Spirit reveals this truth um, to the Apostle Paul, this is uh, also how I believe it happened with John as well. When John saw just how big Jesus was, it humbled him. When the Apostle Paul saw just how big Jesus was, it humbled him as well. And as well as it will us too, for us who are in Christ. Colossians 1:16 and 17, I'm reading from the Living Bible Illustrated. Christ himself is the creator who made everything in heaven and on earth the things we can see and the things we can't see. The spirit world with its kings and kingdoms, its rulers and authorities, all were made by Christ. For his own use and glory, he was before all else began. And it is his power that holds it all together. That's amazing. Because heaven we haven't seen yet, and the earth, we, we know how big the earth is, everything we can see. Um, but then it even, it, it even gets better than that, because now the author of Hebrews is going to tell us that Christ actually is the creator of the universe. I'm reading from Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. That's Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. In the New Living Translation, Long ago God spoke many times and in many ways to our ancestors through the prophets. And now in these final days He has spoken to us through His Son. God promised everything to His Son as an inheritance, and through the Son He created the universe. So by the Son, all things were created in the universe. So, um, this has been... Uh, who is Jesus? And uh, according to these scriptures, to the Apostle Paul, um, the Holy Spirit revealed to the Apostle Paul that Christ was actually the Creator. Thank you. God bless.